like a page with day planner, acrostic poem, Canada test uh, book? Okay, let me see if I can fix that. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Did that work? Yes, thank you. Now I am okay. sponsored. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm very glad to see you here today. Is everyone who will be attending the session present? Okay, then we can get we started. We can't hear you very well. Oh, you're not able to hear me. Um, is your is the volume on your system all the way up? Because um, that that often helps. Like for instance, mine is on twenty one, which is the highest it can go. I was hearing but a little. The volume's up, but the feed is cutting out. Like you're all like uh, Charlie Brown and his teachers. <laughs> yeah, I heard a little bit of an echo, kind of. And um, I'm not sure what the problem with the audio could be. Could could you maybe? Um, sorry, what speed are you dialing in at? I um, have no idea. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm probably going to. Um, well, you can. Do you have like a tech person or or someone like that on hand? Yes, I'm going to call her right now. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, well, while we're waiting, um, I'd like to hear a little bit about you guys. So I hear you've been studying memoirs. So what are some of the things that you've been learning recently um, about memoirs? If you're not able to hear me very well, then um, I'll try writing on the board. Let me grab one of my handy pens. Ah, great. Does the teacher mind calling on a student? Oh, I'm sorry, you're on the phone. Uh, okay, how about uh, in the red shirt? Me? Yes. Um, well, I've learned that you have uh, learned a lot of books when you were younger and stuff like that. Memoirs. You have memoirs. Memoirs, memoirs. yes, yes. Uh, definitely we have a lot of memories from when we're young and um, by the time we reach, I don't know, 11, 12, 13, 14, we definitely, uh, we definitely have a lot and a lot of memories sort of stored up and we can use those when we're writing memoirs or personal narratives. And um, a lot of us might have like defining moments or moments where we realize things. Oh, I forgot, you can't hear me, I'm really sorry. Okay, I'll type that up. Uh, we can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah. Oh, you can hear me now. Yeah. Okay, great. Then we can get started. Uh, let me know if it if it cuts out again. So, hello everyone. My name's Adora Svitok. I'm the author of Flying Fingers: Master the Tools of Learning Through the Joy of Writing, and this is the book that I published at the age of seven. More recently, I've been working on a project called Dancing Fingers, and this is the advanced copy of the poetry book that I have been collaborating on with my older sister Adrienne, and she also contributed poems to this. And today we are going to be learning a little bit about how to write skillful personal narratives. And um, this should help you with writing memoirs. So, let's see. Um, if When you write a personal narrative, you are writing a story from your own life. And um, so, let's see. I think I'll write about my birthday party. So I'm going to open up a document and write about my birthday party. Okay. Let's hope you can, uh, are you able to see the document? Yeah. 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 My birthday party was very nice. A lot of people came. I ate a big round choc chocolate cake.
cake with fake roses on the top. We played games and had a lot of fun. You know, this is like pretty much a typical birthday. Um, do you think it's kind of boring, this passage? Yeah. Yeah, me too. And so when we're, this sounds kind of boring to me, so how can I make it more exciting? For instance, very nice. That's a word that we overuse quite a bit, and it doesn't really say too much. So we could find definitely a better word, and we could maybe go into more detail about why it was nice, the things that made it nice, and come up with a different word. And then big. We could come up with a synonym for that. Gigantic, immense, colossal, uh, gargantuan. So um, really, we can use better word choice. And then another thing that we can do, and um, let me open up the presentation again is, um, here's some review. Generally, a story should have a conflict or an obstacle. And an obstacle is something that gets in your way. And a conflict can be a disagreement, a difficult choice, a competition, or a struggle. So a conflict or an obstacle, or both, would probably make this passage a little more exciting. So for instance, maybe I have a conflict with the guests or with my older sister about what kind of game to play. So maybe we're shouting at each other while everyone else is uh, looking at, uh, was not really having a fun time because we're just arguing. Or maybe the cake, maybe um, my dad is carrying the cake upstairs, trips on the stairs, and the cake falls and breaks. So, um, what would be some more examples of conflicts or obstacles? That's a very good example of a conflict, definitely. Um, and um, competing businesses, and it's a quite hard sometimes for small businesses, especially new ones, to enter the neighborhood. And then there are all it's the um, particular <coughs> object that they're selling or whatever service is already nearly monopolized by some other company. So yes, that would be a huge conflict. Now, now would anyone like to list an obstacle? stories that we read uh, when, for instance, if someone goes on a quest or someone has to do this or that, then they face a lot of obstacles, things that are sort of stopping them, walls that are stopping them from getting through. And um, actually, I realized that the conflict that was listed about two people, maybe uh, one person starting with a new business and the other one being already in the business, then the other person who is already in the business would be an obstacle and then those two would have a conflict. So yes, that, that has an obstacle in it as well. Very good. Many conflicts are caused by obstacles. For example, a broken alarm clock might cause a conflict with your parent or teacher if you arrived for school late, for instance. Um, and you don't need to worry too much about the difference. The, the important thing is to choose a memory based around a difficulty of some kind. So uh, conflicts and obstacles are what make a personal narrative or memoir very exciting because I hate to say this, people love to see conflict in stories at least, maybe not in the real world. They make them, um, they make 